Good evening. I'm Shannon Sims. Thank you for joining us tonight at 10. We're going to go straight out to Bruce Harris, who was just in that meeting with MPS and the board as they discussed paying parents to drive their students to school. That's right, Shannon. It's a half a million dollars in federal funding. And while that amendment passed tonight during that meeting that's ongoing, it's still unclear exactly how that funding will be distributed. A District 3 director, Saquana Taylor, and her co-sponsor, District 8 uh, director, Megan O'Halloran, uh, say this is to show families they know that they're struggling right now. So we hear you and our families. We want you to stay with the MPS. And if this is the token to say, if some parents can get their children to school, um, to give them some type of stipend just as a way of saying thank you and thank you for wavering through with us. Now, O'Halloran says this pot of money is to be used flexibly to find solutions to get kids to school. Uh, that could be bus passes or providing gas, as well as mileage for personal vehicles if parents choose to drive their kids to school. Now, before considering paying parents, um, the board president, Bob Peterson, had said that they were even considering asking the governor to call in the National Guard to drive kids to school, but MPS board president Peterson said that's unlikely. A new state of emergency would have to be declared, and Mr. Evers, the governor, may not have that power right now. According to the Board uh, Bureau of Transportation, uh, roughly 50% of kids across the country ride the bus to school, and about 70% of kids from low-income families ride the bus. MPS has said at this time it's down 50 drivers, and you know, that is impacting anywhere from 200 uh, to 4,000, uh, uh, rather 400 to 2,000 students a day. Shannon? All right, thank you. Now, a quick search online led us to a handful of other schools paying their parents to drive kids to school. They include Baltimore, which offered a $250 stipend for the month of September, and Chicago, which offered $1,000 for the first two weeks of school and then $500 a month.